I wasn't expecting smoke to be coming out of the crater. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty real. Morning. Hard to guess where we are today based on the landscape, but we're in Sicily today, in Italy. We're at the base of Mount Etna. This is the first volcano that we're doing. They were not planning to ascend to the summit. And this is because Etna is an active volcano. Mount Etna sent lava and rocks high up under the air overnight. With all of the eruptions this year alone, it's gained 100 more feet of height. 2021 saw a lot of volcanic activity on Etna. Starting the year with a series of explosive eruptions that even impacted nearby cities and towns. Realistically, Etna could erupt at any time. We planned on avoiding any of its craters. This trail started off on a ski piste, so it's actually quite hard to gain any sort of elevation because it's really slippery. Don't think many people pack this when they come to Sicily, but <laughs> we brought crampons. Not quite your bathing suit. This is the luxury of coming here in February in the depths of winter. leaving the ski slopes now. I mean, it was definitely easier going up on them because there's that set track, but it kind of feels like cheating. So now it's just us from here and a bunch of people doing ski touring ahead of us. We're going to a place today called Punta Lucha. That's at 2,900 meters. Well, we're trying to anyway. So Etna's Europe's most active volcano and the last explosive activity was on the 11th of February this year. There are explosions on the southeast crater and there's ash coming from the northeast crater and Punta Lucha is on the north side of Etna where we are now. There's a red zone that has been implemented here by the local council barring us from going close to the craters because of safety reasons. And Punta Lucha sits at the edge of that red zone. So we might be able to get there, but there's also a chance that the local guys might turn us around. It's very different from yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday we enjoyed a completely different landscape. We went to check out the west side of Etna's national park where we saw almond and pistachio trees and the overall beauty of the Sicilian landscape. Bit different today. Yeah, a little bit more snowy today. Today we're using Etna as training for a huge mountaineering mission Viv and I are planning in the next three weeks, but I'm keeping that a secret for now. Let's give a clue. Two more volcanoes. Two more volcanoes on a different continent. At a much higher height. <laughs> There's gonna be some big altitude coming in the next three weeks, hopefully. That behind me is the northeast crater and you can see that it has the ash and the smoke coming out of it. If I'll be honest, I'm not too sure how much we're allowed to actually go to Punta Lucia because even though Punta Lucia sits at the edge of the red zone, 
we're probably crossing in the red zone for about one straight hour. Woo! First views of Edna is that one up there. The big boy in the background. We have now about 50 more meters of elevation left to reach Punta Lucia. We're very close to both of the craters and it gives a little bit of a uneasy sensation. It's often the case when doing journeys like this one that the situation can border between adventurous or stupid. And this one started to be on the latter. There are clear signs that the volcano was now coming to life. We are concerned. That right there is Punta Lucha. There's not much point staying in the red zone any longer, especially if we have to if we have to go down. There was now a clear difference in the way Etna looked compared to a few hours earlier. We started to hurry off the mountain, thinking of the worst. This is crazy. As we started to go down, this thing started to go off. Check that out. We are not spending one more minute than we need to down here. The next day Etna erupted, sending smoke and ash 12 kilometers up in the sky and causing the nearby airport to close. We got lucky. 